Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello Miss. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Doing great. What about you guys? How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. ¿Cómo les está yendo? Ya está lloviendo en sus casas. Ya llegaron. Ya cenaron. Are you ready for classes? It's raining here. It's raining already. Ya está lloviendo there. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's raining here as well, pero esperemos que nos dé tiempito, right? So I'm super happy to see you guys. Hola, mozos, me alegra verlo. Happy to see you today. Uh, Guadalupe, sure. good evening. Hello. Hi, Danis. How are you? Good evening. Hi, Sarai. I see Pedrina too. Richard. Hi, Karina. Jackie, Jackie, Miss Delgadillo. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, Norbert. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening How are you? Hello. How are you? Clary, yes, I'm mejor, Clary. Are you feeling better? Yes, Miss. I am ready. <laughs> Amazing. Me alegra, Miss. Espero que solo haya sido something um, pasajero, right? <laughs> sí. So, hopefully, that was it. All right. So thank you everybody. Uh, llegamos ahora a la sesión número 15. We are finishing session number 15 today. I'm really excited about this porque el tiempo pues ya se nos fue volando. And uh, um, pretty much estamos terminando la próxima semana. Uh, I think ha sido un módulo bastante productivo. Los he escuchado bastante practicar y espero que ustedes también lo hayan sentido al a lot, you know, productive, que hemos, eh, you know, uh, logrado las metas que se propusieron, puede ser aprender alguna palabra nueva, o well, algunos se propusieron cinco palabras nuevas, espero que hemos cumplido con eso, uh, practicar un poco más, right, uh, practicar listening, etc. So, espero que, you know, se hayan tomado un par de minutos every single day para poder lograrlo. El día de ayer revisábamos algunos ejercicios de la platform. Danis, gracias por el video. Thank you so much for sending the video. Uh, chicos, si ya tienen su video no listo, send it to me. Um, yeah. no, no importa la hora, no tiene que ser un video editado con música. No, really. <risa> eh, quiero escuchar, I mean, your voices que están practicando y saber cómo les puedo ayudar también, right? Eh, también Danis ya me mandó el progreso. Eh, chicos, si ya terminamos, si ya terminamos hasta la unidad número 4, envíenme el progreso, tómenle una fotito de like, cómo van ahorita, o oh, si ya lo terminaron, pues perfecto, <ríe> send it over, right, envíenlo para que también les eh, funcione como motivador a los compañeros, you know, que les hace falta eh, terminarlo. Um, guys, les voy a iniciar tomando asistencia, espero que los demás compañeros nos acompañan en some minutes, but in the meantime, let me just go ahead and, and take attendance here. Deme un segundo. Que acá ya comenzó a llover. Está lloviendo en sus casas. It's raining. Todavía no. Yes, yes teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. En el Paradise, Norbert. <laughs> oh. Todavía no. Mm, yes, a little. A little. Yes, Miss. Okay. Right, right. Ya yeah, está lloviendo bastante fuerte acá. But espero que me logren uh, escuchar y si no, ya me voy a mover. Gonna get to another place. Deme un segundo solamente and let me get attendance here. Regálenme confirmación, porfa, Anita. Present teacher. Thank you. Hi, Anita. How are you? ¿Cómo le va, Miss? Fine, teacher. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Permítanme que this is not working. Okay, ahí está.
Okay, Brian. Sorry, Brian todavía no ha venido. <laughs> okay. Yo voy a molestar a Brian. Eh, Danis, regale mi confirmación, por favor. Thank you so much. Eh, yeah. Dolores, Dolores. Ya la vi por ahí, Miss, pero no logro escucharla. Eh, me, ¿Me escucha? ¿Can you hear me? No sé si es mi audio. ¿Logran escuchar a Saraí? No. No, ¿verdad? No. Ajá. Sí, creo que tenemos eh, problemitas con el audio, Saraí. Solamente déjeme ver si lo tiene conectado. Saraí, Saraí. Mm, mm, sí, me parece que está conectado, pero no lo escuchamos. ¿Está en la computadora o está en el teléfono? En el computer. Mm. Creería que es el audio. Y, y tiene earphones. Do you have earphones? Tal vez probemos con los earphones. Puede ser que solo el auxiliar o, o, o el speaker esté eh, con algunos problemas. But... No. no. Ya, ya voy a pedir ayuda de soporte para que nos ayude con su audio. Ya, yeah, porque sí me aparece conectado, pero we don't have it there. O con el teléfono, Miss, ha intentado conectarse con el teléfono. A veces con el teléfono es más fácil y es más estable la conexión, too. So, voy a pedir ayuda. I will let you know in a second. Um, so, I got Sarai, Eduardo. Guadalupe. Present. Gracias. Miss Delgadillo, hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo estamos por allá? How are you? I'm very good. Nice. Miss nos debe la vuelta por allá. So, <laughs> y vamos a, y vamos a, a ir a, al tour. Uh -huh. Bye, Sarai. Please, give it a... Uh -huh. Thank you. I Sí, vamos a dar el tour por su casa y por el de Anita, right? <laughs> so, hopefully soon. Yes, teacher. A Ahí ese es lado. Que a los es, farolitos. Es, 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 really, es, es por sus casas o es en esa zona. En Aguachapán lo celebran. Pero ustedes, viven, ustedes viven en el propio. Yes. Yo vivo en, en el propio town. Ajá, I remember that was a tiquisaya. Yeah, But, aquí ahora lo celebran. Ahora. Sí. Oh. Va a ir. No. <laughs> okay. But no. I mean, ajá. Uh -huh. I have never been there. Hi Eduardo, good evening. I, I saw, pero pensé que era como um, el mismo día para todos los lugares. So, vaya, al ratito les, les, les llegamos por ahí, girls. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a hacer el tour de grupo que, que nos okay. debemos, right? <laughs> so, we are missing. Creo que era la puerta del diablo, no recuerdo dónde era. Un salto, un salto de Malacatiupán. Ah, ajá, that one. Y también está en Aguachapán. Ese aquí en Atiquizaya está. Ah, oh, ese es Atiquizaya. Uh, yeah. Ok, ok. Nice. Más medieval, Santa Tecla. Tiene. <risa> no, <risa> so, hay lugares bien bonitos aquí en El sí. Salvador. Ese, ese. Vamos a, a Malacat Malacatipán, right? <risa> Let's go there, guys. Vámonos. Eh, Jocelyn, todavía no veo a Jocelyn. Eh, Ignacio Noyet Norbert, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Gracias, Norbert. Eh, Alex, no, todavía no está Alex. Marvin, tampoco. Eh, Clary, regáleme confirmación, Clary, porfa. Hello, Miss, I am present. Thank you so much. Clary, Moses. Hola, Moses. Hello, teacher, present. How are you? I am fine teaching. Thank you. Great. Lo, lo veo así como un poco 
<laughs> a little bit like excited, like how can Excelerate. I say this word in Spanish? Fast. Fa kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of fast. <laughs> Are you good? Yes, no, como no se ha recamado, algo así. No sé. Oh. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Para dónde se fue, Moses? Where did you go? San Miguel City, teach. Pero a trabajar, to work. Yeah, working a lot. <laughs> All day. Okay. Y Pero ahora es estuvo haciendo un calor here in San Salvador. Terrible. No me imagino San Miguel. What's it? In San, San Michael. It's in a lot. It's hot. So, under like mm. requemado, sunburned, exactly. solo de andar caminando, I guess. Driving. Driving. Oh, okay. Wow, that, that's pretty hard. All right, but thank you so much. Me alegra verlo por acá. I'm happy to see you here. I got, let me just continue here. Nelson, got Moses. Hola, Nelson. Good hi, evening. Teacher. Hi, hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Nice, nice. Great. Okay, glad to hear that. Um, okay, creo que Dolores está intentando con... Okay. Give me one second. Pedrina. Hola, Pedrina. ¿Me escucho, teacher? Sí, le escucho. Okay, ojalá no se me baje el audio. Hello. No. Sí, se escucha como un poquito lejana, pero sí se le logra escuchar. Me imagino que está lloviendo, right? Uh, okay, okay, but thank you so much. Gracias por estar ahí, Pedrina. No worries, cualquier cosa, you know, escríbame. Normally estoy pendiente. A veces no les contesto, guys, pero sí leo sus mensajes. I read them. So no es que los ignore or anything, <laughs> but I know you're there. So thank you so much for that. Um, René, todavía no. No, we are missing René. I got uh, Richard. Hi, Richard. Present, teacher, present. Thank you so much. Hello, Mabel. Good evening. Um, Brenda. Uh, hello, teacher. There we go. Hello. Thank you so much. Nombre, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Uh, Brenda. Brenda, me hace falta. Carlos. Hi, Carlitos. How are you? Hello, present. I'm fine. Great. Are you at work? Uh, no. I am at home. Oh, okay. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, Claudia. Ahora sí, Claudia and Karina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. I see we have Jocelyn. Present teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. How are you? Fine, thank you. Great, great to hear you. Nice, nice. I'm just missing Alex, I guess. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Uh, Claudia. Hi, Renee. And I'm missing, yeah, I think we're good. All right. Okay, everybody, so listen up. Vamos a trabajar un good, poquito. Good evening, uh, teacher. Hola, good evening. Hola. Are you doing? Todavía está enfermita, Miss? Are you still a little sick? Todavía, todavía, teacher. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay, pero espero que se mejore muy pronto. Hopefully, you'll get better soon. Thank you. Sí, le escucho la voz todavía un poquito lastimada, pero. Sí. Pero ya va a pasar, mis. Ya. Yeah. mucho tecito. Eso estoy haciendo. Yeah, a lot of lemon tea. <laughs> that works a lot. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. So, um, you know, same thing as yesterday. Nos puede colaborar en el chat, so you can definitely participate in the chat, um, share your ideas, right? Um, in case you don't want to force like your voice that much. All right, guys, let's get started with the things we are going to be working today. Vamos a practicar un poquito pasado. I know hemos estado practicando este tema quite, you know, for a long time. But eh, past, la idea es poder utilizarlo uh, de la forma más natural que podamos. So let's take a look at the following activity here. Ayúdenme, por favor, with this activity. Uh, antes, déjenme mostrarles el one-on-one -on -one for today. So, me trago acá. 
So today uh, we are having with Moses. Moses me, me avisa si podemos o lo podemos cambiar, right? No, está bien ahora. Está bien ahora. Right, perfecto, super, super bien. All right. Um, so I have this activity to get started with you. All right. And uh, let's take a look at this one. First, <laughs> tenemos un par de pictures here. So you have a couple of pictures and I need your help. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a crear una historia. We are going to create a story using the pictures you have here. So you have Crocs <laughs> or sandals. You have toothbrush. You have a bike. You have, how do you call this? What is this? Nif. Nif, miss. Nif. So this is a knife, all right? But you got it, you got it. This is a knife. Uh, we have this one, all right? Well, esta se me repitió. So, we have an umbrella, right? And rain, exactly. So an umbrella and rain. Now, the point is the following. Vamos a crear una historia. We are going to create a story using these six pictures. How can we do it? Well, comencemos a hacerla junto, right? Let's start by doing it together. Vamos a comenzar con once upon a time. And then le vamos a agregar, you know, whatever you can. So, seamos creativos, be creative. Once upon a time. Había una vez. So, once upon a time. Da, 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 da. Como lo vamos a hacer juntos, since we are going to do this together, lo vamos a ir haciendo por pedacitos. That means, yes? Uh, for example, uh, upon one yes. a time. Uh, when I go on bicycle and I lost my Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was a good start. That was a really good start. Okay. Did you listen to, to Carlos? Escuchar, escuchar what he said? Carlos, can you please repeat? So, please, yeah. everybody, listen up. Escuchemos la, yeah. la, cómo él inicia la historia. And the next person, la siguiente persona, va a retomar lo que él dijo y le va a agregar más, right? So, that's the idea. Okay, Carlos, let's start, please. One more time. Upon one some time, I am going my bicycle and I lost my Crocs. <laughs> okay. So once upon a time, he was riding that bicycle and lost his crop. All right. Who wants to continue? ¿Quién quiere continuar? Or vamos con victimas. Do we go, do we go with victims? I teach you. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, es la misma historia. It's the same story. So, solo uh, le va agregando pedacitos más. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I have to go buy some sandals and then go for my sister because she is in the rain. Oh, nice. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, who wants to go next? Karina, continue, please. Agreguele más, just add more details. Okay, my dear sister has an umbrella and she, she, she has a new cross too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. That's good. Uh, let me see who continues. Um, mm -mm. Jocelyn, continue, please. No le he escuchado, Jocelyn, so I'll go with you. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and then, in this moment, uh, stay uh, raining. Okay, so at that moment it was a uh, she has stayed like in the rain, you said? So yes. It was raining, right? Okay, it was raining. That's okay. Nos falta el knife. No sé cómo lo vamos a agregar ahí. <laughs> y nos falta el brush, all right? So, what can we say about the knife and what can we say about the brush? Uh, let me see, let me see. Hi, Marvin. Good evening. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Eduardo. Let me see. Um, I see here. Good evening. 
Hi, good evening. Hi, Ignacio. Hi, Brian. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Great to have you guys. Uh, creo que solo me falta Alex uh, and Brenda. All right. Uh, um, so, Jackie? I had problem with my internet. Oh, no worries. No worries. Thank you so much. Gracias por acompañarnos. Thanks a lot for joining. Um, so, who wants to continue? Let's recap. Hagamos un recordatorio. Let, let's do like a, a recap of the story. Okay. So, once upon a time, um, I was riding my bicycle in my cro and I lost and my lost. croc. <laughs> so, I need to buy new sandals, right? Um, then I, I needed to pick my sister but it was raining. So, creo que hasta ahí nos hemos quedado. I think we just stopped right there. Who wants no. to continue? So, she was staying under the rain. So nos falta agregar is... el toothbrush y nos falta agregar el knife. Go, uh, Nice. Uh, when it's yes. rain, uh -huh. when it's rain, when it's the leaf is perfect to put the meat for uh, what's this? Asado? Uh, for a grill? For a grill, yeah. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Yes. So when it rains, the knife is good. Yes. <laughs> the meat is okay. All right. Yeah. To get the meat. All right. Creo que escuché mi teacher, but I'm not sure si era la voz de, de Mabel. Sí. Okay, when I got to home, I wanted to cook fruit, fruit, oh. but, but, como, como digo, no encontré. I didn't find, I didn't find my knife. Oh, okay, no. okay. Oh, but 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 that's okay. That's okay because he mentioned that when it's raining, it's a good time uh, for for cutting meat. And, and then you have the other idea that you wanted uh, the knife to cut some fruit. We are super good. All right, guys. Nos falta el último de toothbrush. <laughs> so, ¿quién tiene algo with the toothbrush? ¿Quién nos quiere agregar a little bit? So, Mabel, she already mentioned que ya llegó a la casa. So when I got home, right, I wanted to look to get the knife for cutting fruit. Brush? Anybody? Um, I found I I found the knife and I cut a uh, uh, Fruit salad. Oh. After, uh, before I sleep, I brush my teeth. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> okay, amazing. I liked this story. That was nice. And uh, the way you connected everything, that was amazing. <laughs> I really like the one with the crocs. <laughs> okay, like I was riding a bicycle and I lost the croc. <laughs> okay, amazing guys, very good job with that. Now let's just uh, do the following. Vamos a revisar un poquito. Vamos a trabajar con historias today. Of course, listening to your stories, but vamos a revisar un poquito algunos verbos, right? So, for example, here we have, Complete the gaps, well, complete the regular, irregular verbs in simple past tense. Primero vamos a revisar los verbos, right, en pasado. And of course, ya se los pueden. Yo estoy segura que you know these verbs and they're like, um, hay una expresión en inglés para decir super fácil, right, que es piece of cake. So I know these verbs are a piece of cake for you, okay? Son bien fáciles. I know you know them. So what I want you to do, solamente vamos a revisarlo bien rapidito y quiero ejemplos. I want you to give me examples using them in past. And of course, we are going to make stories later. So veamos con B. Uh, Karina, el pasado de B. What is the past of B? Us. And where was the word? Ignacio, break. Um, De quebrar. Break. 
break. Cambio un poquito. Brooke. It's... Brooke. Okay. Okay, thank you. So that's Brooke. Brooke. Exactly. Brooke. Uh, Jocelyn, Brooke. the pass of by. Uh, so. So. Algo así. Sí, más o menos. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah, it's bot. Exactly. Con uh -huh. So by bot. Uh, Mabel, el pasado de con. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Sarai, hi Sarai. <laughs> eh, ¿Pudo solucionar su audio? No, creería que no. Eh, ¿Y del teléfono? ¿Se, pudo, ¿Se logró conectar desde el teléfono? Uy, mis, no le escucho. Si gusta, escríbamelo. So, write it over. Creo que la compañera de soporte anda por acá. So I'm going to, le voy a pedir ayuda con, con el audio. Eh, escríbamelo por acá, por favor. So write to me. Eh, si pudo conectarse con el teléfono. Too. Ok. So mientras, Marvin, ayúdeme con el drive. It's draw. Perfect. Thank you. I have Moses uh, eat. Eight. Very good. Pedrina, feel. Feel the sentir, right? Oh. Yo creo, Pedrina, que tenemos problemitas oh. con el audio. Oh. Uh, déjeme confirmar. Uh, ok. Permítame, solo voy a confirmar si Pedrina nos escucha. Pedrina, ¿me oye? ¿Me escucha? <ríe> oh. Okay. Hola, hola. Pedrina wrote in the chat. Oh, yeah, I was I was writing her over here. Uh, you mean in WhatsApp? No. Oh, ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, got it. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, what about fine? Let me go with I can use the chat today. Let me see. Let me see. Richard, what about find? Oh. Mm -hmm. Very good. Jackie? Ah. Yeah. Jackie, Jackie. Probably está lloviendo right there in Atikisaya. Clary, yeah. ayúdeme con get, porfa. Hola, Richard. I don't remember, Miss. Ah, ok. Sería pro. Mhm. Okay. El pasado de get, yes, that's got, exactly. Okay, yeah, very good. Norbert, give. Norbert mencionó que estaba lloviendo allá, so I don't know if he can hear us. Okay, Nelson, ayúdeme con give, please. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, okay, thing, le cambiamos la pronunciation. That would be gave. Hey. Uh -huh. hey. Very good. Yes. What about go? Guys, what is the pass of go? What is the pass of the go? When? 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 Hear? De escuchar? Hear. Heard. Okay. Yeah. Le agregamos una D y lo convierte en heard. What about hold? Dijimos que hold era como sostener algo. Hold, ¿cuál es el pasado? Le cambian la letra. Uh, held. Held. The, the okay, change, held. Change, hold. Or... hold, held. Uh, Solo una letra, yeah. exactly. No, the past is? New. New, New. very New. good. Let. Um, Está bien fácil. Let. 
Yes, <laughs> exactly. Guadalupe es el mismo. So let, let, all right. What is the meaning of let? ¿Qué es let? Do you remember? Permitir. No? Permitir, exactly. Uh, let. Lose. What is the past of lose? Lost. Lost. Perfect. Make. Made. 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 Okay. Put. 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 Read. Red. Oh. Red. Red, pero se escribe igual, right? So we write it the same way. Ring, like ring. Run. 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 Excellent. Run. 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 Exactly. Say, like yo te digo, él me dijo. Say. 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 Yeah, it's S A I D. Pero lo vamos a pronunciar como cuando necesitamos agua. Sed. Perfecto. Sed. Oh, okay. Exacto. So, o oh, él me dijo, he said to me, all right. O oh, él dijo que no podía. He said he couldn't do it. Sed. Como de sed, right? Let's go with the other one that we have. The sleep. Slept. 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 Very good. Take. Talk. Talk. Más como una U. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, two. take two. Think. Found. So. Both. Mm -hmm. Como cuando digo, yo pensé. So. Ajá, uh -huh. let me write it down. So, eso es T-H-O-U-T. Pero, para hacerlo más fácil, la pronunciación, lo vamos a pronunciar así. Thought. 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 I thought, I thought, I thought. yo pensé, mm -hmm. okay. so I thought, there we go, okay, uh, next one, uh, tell, como yo te dije, tell, oh. told, exactly, okay. Deme un segundo. Right. and uh, right, Bro. Bro. Rose, exactly. La doble, la doble V no se pronuncia. So we don't pronounce uh, this W. So right, that becomes into road. Okay. Okay, guys. This and that is simple past. <laughs> okay, sorry. I muted myself. So, and that is simple past. All right. Very good job with that. So just let's remember here, se convierte en heard, hold, held. Uh, think, thought, all right? Ahora vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a intentar contar un poquito de qué es lo que hicimos. Vamos a intentar contar historias and similar things. So, antes de ir a hacer eso, let's go ahead and uh, let's complete just some exercises. Vamos a comenzar con what's or where, que es un tema bastante fácil. So, uh, ¿quién me ayuda con what's or where? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What's the difference? The was a singular. Mm -hmm. Was a singular. Was plural. Okay, perfect. Muy bien. That's actually una forma de verlo. Was es para singular. Where is para plural. Super bien. Ahora, cuando hablamos de pronombres, también was or were lo utilizo dependiendo del pronombre. Si quiero hablar, por ejemplo, de mí, ¿cuál utilizo? I was or I were. I was. was. I was. Exactly. So, terceras personas, he, she, and it. Utilizamos. Where? He, she. Tercera ah, persona singular. Was. 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 Exactly. Entonces, ¿para quién nos utilizo where? Para. They. They. You. We. You. And we. we. Eso es todo que son los plurales. Ok, good. Now, ayúdenme con esto super quick. Solamente vamos a completarlo con was or were and that's it. They were. Were. They were. were at the hospital three days ago. Exacto, eso es todo. That's it. Uh, number two. What do you think in number two? What can we use? You were. Were on the phone this morning. Mm -hmm. Number three. Children, so the children, was or were? Were. were. Was. Was. Bien interesante, veamos esta palabra children. Cuando, children. cuando digo children, ¿a cuántos me refiero? ¿A niño o niños? Niños. Uno, uno por niños. Niños. Ya son niños. 
Ok, la palabra yeah. children ya es plural, no lleva S, pero ya es plural. So, yes. the children were, were. were. Uh, were quiet. They are always noisy. Number four, Yari. Were. Were. Digamos, were. creo que es una persona. So, Yari. Yes. Was. 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 Yari was. was. Terceras personas, was. Ok. She. She was. was. She was. Very good. My dog. Was. My dog was. was. Exactly. It. Was. was. It was. So, ¿qué es lo difícil de esto? Actually, solo es de ir viendo cuál es el pronombre here. Tengo yes. my dog, tercera persona, was. Tengo it, tercera persona, was. There, ahora acá, vamos a ver qué es lo que sigue. A good film, singular o plural. Singular. 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 Entonces, ¿cuál utilizo para singular? Was or were? Was. 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 Ah, significa que con there yo puedo utilizar there was, había, o there, there were si son varios. Yeah? Yes. So I can use both. Number eight, Fred and Wilma. Fred yeah. and Wilma. Tengo dos personas. Where, where are the school? This morning. Very good. Good, good, good. So let's do the following. Vamos a revisar lo siguiente. Ahí lo había visto. Yo no sé si lo agarramos cada vez. Yo no sé. Mm, give me one second. I'm just going to. Mute it. Just in case. Ok. So let's take a look at the following. Um, vamos a hablar un poquito. Right. De lo siguiente. Think about. Todos tenemos como your. Think about. Vamos a pensar un poquito en el pasado, right? 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 5 years ago, etc. So, a pet. ¿Alguna vez tuvieron una mascota? Did you ever have a pet? A dog, yes, yes. a cat, a yes, parrot, a, parakeet. A, a, goat, a, a dog. A, a goat. No, 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 no. Uh, snake and um, dog. Oh, ok. No, pero es que goat también es un animal, una cabrita. Una cabrita, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo tuve, mi papá tenía una cabrita. My, so my daddy had a goat hace muchos yeah. años. Mm -hmm. So, podemos pensar, number one, in a pet, all right, think about an old friend of yours, ok, an old friend of yours, en alguna persona que fue su amigo, pero hace mm -hmm. muchos años, right? Probably uh, que lo conoció, I don't know, in high school, kindergarten, etc. O le prestó so, dinero. Yo le prestó <laughs> dinero, why? <laughs> ok, y utilizando was or were, vamos a describirlo, right? We are going to describe ya sea el pet o ya sea su friend, ok? For example, let me, let me think about... Yeah, my daddy had a goat. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the other story. My dad, long time ago. Oh my God, ¿cuántos años tengo? <laughs> ¿Hace cuánto fue? Okay, 15 years ago. No. Tengo 20, guys. 15 yeah. years ago, okay, <laughs> my dad had a goat. So a goat is una cabra. That's a goat. Yes. Um, so... It was, como voy a escribir, como era, right? It was white and uh, with what? Uy, white with black oh, spots. Tenía como manchitas negras. Mm -hmm. So with black spots. Um, it was crazy. It was crazy and it, como estamos hablando de un objeto, de un animal en este caso, um, so it ate the soap. <laughs> okay, so this is my short story and my short okay. description with the, no, 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 with the goat. Oh. <laughs> 15 years ago, my dad had a goat, all right? No recuerdo si tenía nombre. I don't remember if there was a name. 
It was white with black spots, como manchitas, right? Mm -hmm. It was a crazy goat. And the goat ate the soap. Guys, what oh. is the meaning of soap? ¿Se el recuerdan jabón. que era soap? El jabón, jabón. yeah. So comía. the goat, yeah, ate the soap. <laughs> Okay, it was a crazy goat. It was a really crazy goat. So, si se fijan, vocabulario simple, sencillo, y les estoy dando muchos detalles. So, let's do the same. Pueden escoger a pet, o pueden escoger an old friend of yours. Okay? I'll give you three minutes. Le voy a dar solo tres minutitos para que, si gustan, lo escriban, o si no, lo piensan y armamos las oraciones en el aire. Right? Whatever you decide. Remember, todo es pasado. Everything is in past. Si quieren decir como había, si es uno, podemos utilizar there was, o podemos decir habían, pero de varios. So we can also use there were, right? There was, había para uno. There were, había para varios. Lo mismo que there is and there are. Tres minutitos, guys. Three minutes. Y luego nos cuentan. Gracias, Karina, por el video. One more minute. Okay, and time is over. So, do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo, or estamos bien? Are we good? Are we ready, guys?
¿Alguien necesita más tiempo? One minute, two minutes. One minute. Okay, one minute. All right, that's okay. Teacher. Hello. Hello. How do you say juguetón? Playful. Okay. I'm going to write it down here. That is playful. That's the one. Playful. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. It can be an animal or it can be a person too. Aplica para ambos, so it's okay. Okay. In my case, it's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Your pet. Yes. What was that? A dog, a cat, a turtle, a snake? Dog. A dog. All right. Do you still have it? Abuelo tiene, do you have it? No, falleció. Oh, sorry to hear that. The ancianito. Yes, uh, 13 years old. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, um, so with my, with my sister's dog, we're thinking about it. Porque tiene 11 years old. <laughs> so wow, ya está viejito. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah but anyways. Okay, everybody, so we have this part. So we have think about a friend or think about a, uh, a pet, right? Y vamos a describir un poquito. Anything you can tell us, that is wonderful. So, um, tengo voluntarios. Do I have any volunteer? ¿Alguien quiere participar? O vamos y escogemos víctimas. <laughs> so what, what, whatever, it's fine. Volunteers? Gracias, Marvin, por ser voluntario. Thank you so much for that. No, Alex. You can do it. You can do it. Alex, yes, I can. Creo que no, right? Mm, no, not yet. Pero si veo a Marvin. Mr. Teacher. Lopez, hello. Teacher, I, I, I want to participate. Okay, uh, first, let mm -hmm. me go with Karina, porque le vi la manita arriba first, and then we go with Ignacio. So, okay. mientras regresa Marvin. <laughs> okay, Karina, tell us, Karina, uh, are you going to tell us about a pet or your friend? A pet. Ah, okay. okay. When I was a child, I remember my first pet. I had a little turtle. Ah, okay. His name was the Lost. One day, my little pet went to the garden and the lost height let the choose and carros a little carros piece. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> so that was the lost. Yes. That was a <clears throat> but that is such a beautiful name. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that story. Okay. Ignacio, yes, Ignacio, please. 
Okay. And I I had a dog. I had a dog. Name is Gary. 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 Oh, Gary. <laughs> okay. Gary. Gary. He he was my favorite pet because he played played a lot with me, and he was my best friend. And for my children and why he was a part of the family. And he, he passed away in March of this year. He passed He's away, dead. he passed away this year. He passed away in March, in, Mer in March, sorry, in March of this year. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, ya estaba encenito, was it all? Yeah. He, he he has a uh, eighty years eight in uh, years? in a in, in a dog age maybe ninety years. Na so he was years. he was eighteen years eighteen years old. Eighteen years old, yeah. Wow, pero vivió bastante. That was a lot. Entiendo que como el tiempo de vida es de 12 a 13 or something like that. Uh, wow. Uh, five, 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 five years. Uh, life uh, dog is equal one year the person old. Wow. No, but that was a lot. Pero sí vivió bastante. Amazing. Thank you. Very nice description, Ignacio. All right. Next person. Who wants to go next? Let me see. Creo in que vi por case, ahí a René. Yes, René, yeah. go for it. In my case, I have a pet. Uh, his name was uh, Oso. Oso. Oso was a black dog. In, I remember also because he, he is a very friendly, friendly. He also died uh, for a Oh, it for viejo. Oh, for all. Uh -huh. Yes. I I, rem, uh, I remember my brother. Uh, my brother trajo. Brought. My mother brought. My brother brought. Not also uh, in, at, at the house when also has a five five months. Oh, it was a puppy. Yes. Also, uh, grown, grown, grew up with with my family for a lot of time, and I remember also when, because of when I come back uh, after my job, I come back my, after my job. Also, always is happy when saw saw me. Oh, that's so cute. So he kind of moved the tail. He was waving at you. Le movía la colita but, but and everything. It, <laughs> okay. But it was very difficult. So also at, at night because it is it, it was a, a black black a black oh. uh, bien negro. <laughs> uh -huh. A dark black color. Oh, okay. Black black color, yeah. Was it a big dog? But, uh, Era grande. Was it a big a big dog? No, it's a normal, normal dog. I remember mm -hmm. some people told me there also is a pig bull, but also never. <laughs> also was a pastor no. maya, aguacatero. <laughs> I didn't want to say aguacatero. Yeah. <laughs> no, ahora se le llama uh, eh, mixed breed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ahora se les llama de... de... Wait. Okay. The, the, the mixed, uh -huh. it's como the um the raza mezclada, uh -huh. para, para no ser tan discriminatorios con los perritos. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you so much for the description, Rene. That 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 was beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Anybody else? Mabel, creo que nos iba a contar del perrito too. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Tell us about your dog. Well, I had a dog at my parents' house. 
Mm -hmm. uh, my dog was very funny. Mm -hmm. It was a brown and white boxer, mm -hmm. and it was very playful. Mm -hmm. He did uh, 13 years, uh, um, and we have not had another pet. Uh, wow. It was unique. Oh, okay. Wow, that was nice. So I like listening to the stories of your pets. That's definitely nice. And it's beautiful to remember them that way. Um, anybody else? Alguien tenía otro tipo de, de mascota? Any other type of pet? Me, teacher. Yeah, Anita, tell us, what do you have? Um, 10 years ago, I had a parrot. It was speak in in smile and are uh, it like like uh, to say bad words <laughs> for example no 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 <laughs> no, no teacher no puedo decir. <laughs> <laughs> and and it it was really very funny mm -hmm. but one day it that there, there. So when they died, the murió, it died. died, died. Yes. Solo así, uh, just it, that way. It was... uh, excuse me. Solo, solo así, it died. Uh, <laughs> sí. Yes. Green, oh. Green oh, okay, okay. What was the name of your of your uh, pet? Eh, eh, tenía, ¿cómo se dice? Tenía, eh, I had, well, en ese caso, el, el, el animalito, right? So Ajá, it, 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 it was, para it, edad, was it was name the person, um, por eso no lo puedo decir. Okay, okay. <laughs> what was the name? No, 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 ellos no se ofenden, don't worry. <laughs> they are open minded. ¿Cuál era el nombre? ¿Cómo en se llamaba? Wait. En other occasion. A boy, a boy or a girl's name? Boy. A boy's name. Solo está Nelson, um, Brian, Danis. Uh, uh, Ignacio, uh, no, no uh, sé, no sé. Tengo de location, Tisha. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you so I much, Tisha, for sharing. Okay, okay, sorry. Me debe el nombre. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, ¿alguien describió a su amigo? Did anybody describe a friend? No. Clary? Me, teacher. Yes, oh. tell us, tell us. How do you say? How do you say improvisar, Miss? I'm going to improvise. Improvise. Please, um, go ahead. I speak an old friend. 22 years ago, um, el verbo meet en pasado es meet. Met. Met, yes. Met, verdad? Mm -hmm. Met uh, my friend Araceli. Okay. I the same, I the same study in... Um, Studying the same school. Uh -huh. um, she she has no. She is best childhood. As it says, infancy. Yeah. Okay. Pero no sé si quiere decir como she was or she is. Porque todavía lo es. Oh, okay. She is. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She is best. Best childhood friend. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. She is a, a cool person. Nice. Okay. Yes. So you have met. Actually, you, uh -huh, tell me, tell me. Actually, um, she's work. She's a nurse. All right, that was a very nice description. She worked. She, worked she, she is a nurse. It's okay. Is that super bien? She is a nurse. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a nice description. So, you have known her? La conocido? You have known her? 
for how long? 22 years, you said? 20 years? Yes, 22 years ago. 22 years, wow. <laughs> that, that is a long time. Es bastante tiempo, yes. all right. Amazing, thank you so much for sharing your story. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, what about the rest? ¿Alguien más tiene descripción de un amigo? Do you have a, a friend description? My friend is dog. No, really, you don't have. Okay. So, so I think we're good. I think we're totally fine. Um, I, I, I want to listen to more people, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, ya vamos a practicar, así que we are going to go over this. No worries. Guys, I just have one more activity here. This one says complete the conversation, right? Obviamente es pasado. This is in past. And uh, it's super easy. Again, tenemos como was and where, all right? Y luego sí, ya vamos a ir a la parte de speaking practice. So in the meantime, um, vamos a utilizar was and where for this conversation. So no lo voy a escribir, así que please follow me. Let's take a look at this part. Hello, Paul. Where? Y tengo you last month. ¿Qué puedo utilizar? Was or where for this exercise? Hello, Paul. Was you, was you last month? Uh, mm -hmm. Tenemos you. ¿Cuál utilizamos con you? Was or where? Oh, where, where, where you last month. Super bien. Where, where. Suena raro porque where, se, where, como where. que se duplica, right? Where were you? Bien, bien, bien. Mm -hmm. So, like, ¿a dónde estuviste? ¿A dónde anduviste? Where were you last month? Right? Paul says, hi, Peter. I was in the US. USA. I was in the USA. Oh. I, I was in Miami. I was in Miami. Miami. Exactly. And then Peter le pregunta, ¿cómo estuvo? ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo fue? Right? So, what? What is like? What was it like? Exactly. What was it like? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo estuvo? And Paul says, it was great. It was great. Was great. The sea? Um, was. was calm. And the weather, y el clima, and the weather was incredible. Yes. Was, was incredible. incredible. Exactly. Now, my next question is sobre el hotel. ¿Cómo estuvo el hotel? ¿Cómo era? And what was, what was the hotel like? Exactly. Was. What was the hotel like? Fantastic. There, y le voy a contar qué es lo que había. Fantastic. There, was a casino. there was a casino. And there, Revisamos lo que dice acá. Four movie theaters. Como son cuatro, ¿qué voy a utilizar? Was or where? Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. were four movie theaters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, Peter le pregunta sobre las personas. ¿Cómo eran las preguntas? Las personas. What? Where? Y tenemos people. Where? What were the people where like? People ¿Cómo like? eran las personas? Mm -hmm. What were the people like? They were. Where? They where? were. Charming and nice, no. exactly. They were charming and nice. All right, let's take a look at this one. Esta descripción nos sirve para eh, lugares turísticos, para una tienda, para un restaurante, para un lugar donde hemos recibido un servicio, etc. So for example, I come and I ask you, hey guys, where were you yesterday? ¿A dónde fueron ayer? And you tell me, oh, hi. Fui a que me pusieran la vacuna, por ejemplo. I don't know. Fui al hospital del Salvador. So I was in hospital, hospital of El Salvador. Oh, what was it like? ¿Cómo era el lugar? Right? What was it like? Oh, it was great. It was white and clean. And it was, it was nice. Entonces me, me ayuda a describir un lugar. Me ayuda a describir personas. Right? experiencias, etc. So, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es vamos a practicar esta conversación. Porfa, tomémosle foto. So, take a picture of this one. 
And vamos a practicarlo. Lo único que vamos a ir cambiando es, obviously, algunas expresiones como en vez de last month pueden preguntar yesterday, last week, two days ago, on Monday, on Saturday, en vez de in the USA, le podemos decir in, in the Sabbath. hospital. In, ¿A dónde, perdón? El Salvador. In El Salvador. Yeah. O puede ser en una tienda o en un restaurante, por yeah. ejemplo. Um, yeah. Fui al estadio. I was in the stadium, right? Eh, fui um, a Tikisaya. <laughs> okay. Fui a la casa de Jackie. I went to Jackie's house. So, I mean, vamos a utilizar eh, any of this. Solamente siguiéndola. en you will see, va a ser súper fácil poder utilizar pasado y preguntas. Recordemos que la pregunta acá es, what was it like? What uh, were the people like? So, ¿cómo eran? Right? So, how was it like? Denme, denme un momento que okay. solo voy a cambiar de, de anfitrión. Ok. It should work now. Ya le tomaron fotito. Do you have a screenshot? Yes. Okay. Great, great, great. Oh great, 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 great. Four, five. Okay, guys. So, tenemos solamente cinco, minu cinco minutos. So, you have only five minutes. I'm going to send you to the groups. Practiquemos la conversación, cambiémosle por supuesto, change it, y cambiémosle detalles, y luego venimos y la vamos a presentar. So, every group. Así que, guys, vámonos cinco minutos. You got five minutes.
Okay, guys, uh, welcome and thank you so much for coming back. Solo déjenme confirmar si ya todos están back, but I think, yeah. Solo me falta Alex. Okay. Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot for that. Uh, I was listening to your practice super bien, you know, I think you're doing a very good job. So, solamente nos eh, falta compartir con el resto de compañeros y que nos escuchen también el progreso that we are having. Tengo, I have cuatro grupos, if I'm not mistaken. ¿Quién se fue? <laughs> Who left? Okay. Wait, activé los soniditos para que nos digan quién entra. <laughs> okay. okay. Deme un momento solamente. <laughs> Yeah, because later I'm like, oh, can can get through? Who was that? Yeah. So give me just a second. For some reason, I encountered this group. So then I found someone here. Ahí están. Okay. So let's go in order. I have six, five groups. Okay, so group number one, that was Carlos, Guadalupe, and René. Chicos, ya lo tiene listo. Do you have the conversation ready? Can we listen to you? Yes, teacher, but I, I practice with my, with my work, my co-worker, my compañero. But mm -hmm. I practice another, another, oh. another speech. Another conversation. Yes. Well, pero si practicamos pasado no hay ningún problema. I mean, si es diferente, mejor todavía. Improvisemos un poquito. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, eh, ¿Con quién estuve? No me acuerdo. Eh. <laughs> Carlos en Guadalupe. <laughs> For example, Guadalupe told me he, he, eh, she was she went to the Guatemala with her father. Mm -hmm. And she visited uh I don't remember uh its name. Uh, but it, uh solo eso estuvimos platicando. <laughs> oh, so you, you were talking about the visit to Guatemala. Yes. Oh no, but it's okay, it's okay. Tell us, um, how was the how was Guatemala? How was the place? How was the place like? I visit um, Plaza Cayala. Oh, nice, that's a beautiful yes. place. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a uh, it's uh, in the city, mm -hmm. the capital city, okay. the Guatemala. It's a uh, very nice. It's a uh, clean. Uh, it's a clean mm -hmm. uh, the build, building mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a lot of building and the people is nice I like the the the, the top like a cantadito <laughs> a cantadito cantadito ah cantadito <laughs> I heard cantarito, so I was like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, they have an accent, that's right. You know, what I like about Guatemala is the weather. The weather is amazing. Nice. Yes. Super cool. No, but thank you. That was nice. Did you stay in a hotel? No, I, I visit only for business with my father-in-law. So only yeah. one day, you didn't stay? Yes, only one day. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. No, very nice. Guadalupe, that's nice. So you're telling us stories un poco más rápido, cool. Very good pronunciation too. Thank you, Rene, that was nice. That was nice as well. Um, Carlos, could Carlos practice with you? No, miss. No, he didn't. Okay, that's all right. Let's go with group number two. I have Danny, Ignacio, Clary, and Pedrina. Creo que Pedrina tiene problemas de audio. Uh, teacher. I, yes, uh, tell me, Ignacio. I talk, uh, I talk with Danny. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and do you uh, have the conversation 
O nos van yeah, a contar, uh, whatever you have. Danny, is, is, is you ready? Yes. Hey, ready. Hey, hello, hello Danny. Where were you last month? Hi, Ignacio. I was in the La Libertad City. I was in the Hotel Carimar. Okay. What what was it like? Is it it was great. The sewer care in the seafood is incredible. Was incredible. Was incredible. Okay. Where? And, Where okay. And what and what was the hotel like? Fantastic. There were a uh, is the pool? Pool? Pool and um, seafood. And seafood. Is, is very delicious. Okay. What were the people like? They were charming and friendly. Okay, thank you. It's all. And that's it, right? All right. Yeah, <laughs> thank it. you so much. Okay, very good. Now that was okay, guys. Thank you so much. So Karimar, you said, was the yeah. place. Okay, okay, yeah. sounds good. Thank you. Let's go with group number four. I got uh, Eduardo, Jocelyn, and Moses. Creo que solo se me quedaron Moses and Jocelyn in this group. Uh, Claudia, I don't know if she was able to participate. Yes, teacher. Hola, Moses. Moses se me cortó, lo siento. Dígame. Sí, estuvimos con Jocelyn. Ah, ok, ok. Do you have the conversation ready? Y si no, pues igual improvisemos. No hay problema. <laughs> That's ok. You can make it up. All right. Let us listen to you guys. Hello, Jocelyn. How did you last month? Hey, Moises. I was in Mexico. I was at Cancun. What do you like? It, it is a great, uh, they see our heart and then soul too. Uh, what do you think the hotel? Fantastic. There, there was, there were a beautiful pool. There, there are three restaurants. It's perfect. What are the people like? Um, they are charming and friendly. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you, Mois. Wow, Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful. So that sounds amazing. And sounds like a really good place for vacation, right? So thank you. Thank you. You already made my day with Cancun. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's go with next group. Uh, the, uh, uh, I got two more missing. Okay. I got Karina. I have Marvin. I have Nelson and Richard. Guys, I heard all of you practicing. So very good job. So let us listen to your conversation. Okay. Okay. Hello, Ricardo. Where were you last weekend? Hey Nelson, I was in the Ojas Resort Hotel. I was in uh, in the pass. What was it like? Uh, it was great. Uh, the sea was calm and the wet uh, was amazing. What was the hotel like? Uh, they was a uh, discotheque at night. I was dancing a lot of time. How, how about you, Marvin? I was in the same party. And I really like it. And you, Karina? Yes, there are two. And I ate a lot of food. Uh, what were the like the people like? 
of the people were really happy and friendly. That's, That's all. It. Okay. That's Thank you. it. Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> really nice. That was such a rich So they were at a party. Yes, yes, Danny. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. yes. Tomorrow, Richard, I, I, I see you también. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like it. I like your conversation because yeah. encontraron la forma de involucrar a todos. So very nice job. And everybody participated in that. Thank you so much, guys. Very nice. Let's go with, so yo escuché like, like a disco, <laughs> Cancun, you know. So let's see what the last group has. Me um, falta un grupo, I'm missing one group. And that goes for uh, Ana. Eh, Norbert en Mabel. Hi, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo está la lluvia por ahí, Norbert? ¿Ya dejó de llover? A little. <laughs> ah, ok. Ok, ya yeah, también acá ya se calmó también. <laughs> ok. Ok, guys. So, tell us, ¿qué tienen? What is your story? Eh, Char... Uh, Ana Delmi. Yes. Hi, okay. Okay. Um, hello, Ana Delmi. Uh, where, uh, where was your last uh, week? Um, hi, Norbert. I was in the Quatepec Lake in Santa Ana City. Eh, okay. Eh, eh, wax where it's light. It was gray. Um, the 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 Quatepec Lake is very beautiful. Okay. Um, wax. Um, <clears throat> wax wax in the restaurant light. Oh yes, they they were a restaurant and mm -hmm. delicious food. Eh, what eh what the tourism like? Oh yes, they much the tourists and they were very friendly. Okay, Anadelmi, thank you for your information. Uh, you're welcome, Norbert. Okay, bye bye. Finish this. <laughs> nice, that was really good. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice because um, tomaron toda la información y la modificaron. <laughs> I, I like that one. So, thank you guys. You make it very unique. Okay, we do have some time. And for the next activity, ahora sí vamos un poquito con speaking time. So, con esta actividad that I have right now, um, la vez anterior me quedaron algunos debiendo. Sí, sí, right, pueden ver mi pantalla. Okay. La vez anterior me quedaron algunos debiendo el minuto 30, two minutes, pero this is your opportunity. <laughs> okay, vamos a pasar ahora algunos. We are going to have like some of you today. And uh, si alguien que de hecho se me van a quedar varios para mañana. So, vamos a tener la presentation tomorrow. Jackie, what? Wait, Jackie se me fue. Jackie, don't go. Teacher. Hello. ¿Eh? Ya me oigo. Yes. <laughs> ok. Yeah. I can hear you. Ya <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. And I'm like, yes. No he estado prestando atención. Oh, ok. Pero es en el teléfono o es en la computadora. Thank you, teacher. So, are you in the computer? ¿Lo puedo solucionar desde, desde la computadora? Yes. <laughs> ¿Qué era, Miss? What was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bueno, lo importante es que hayan escuchado. 
Well, the, the important thing is que ya no estamos en modo mute. Okay, <laughs> okay yes. so ya la escuchamos, so we can hear you. Perfect, okay. perfect. Okay, great. Guys, from the following, de las que tenemos acá, this is going to be really interesting because quiero que piensen en uno de estos temas. There are six different uh, like prompts or topics, questions. Seleccionen uno, select one. And of course, en pasado nos van a contar un poquito de eso. You're going to tell us a little bit about this. For example, number one says, what was your best memory? Hola, Marvin. What was your best memory from when you were a child? ¿Cuál fue su mejor memoria? Right? Uh, what is your earliest memory? Como cuando estaba más joven, like the one you remember. Who was your childhood best friend? Acabamos de escribir amigos. So for one minute, nos cuentan un poquito de ellos. What games did you play when you were a child? So, ¿qué juegos? Eh, what did you play? All right. There are like a lot of games that we normally play. So, what do you play? Um, what were some of your favorite toys? If you had a favorite toy, a favorite game, a favorite doll, or a favorite, I don't know, TV program, maybe, if you didn't have a toy. So, that's okay. And the last one, which was better for you? Guys, which was better for you? Elementary, junior high school, or high school? Como primer ciclo, segundo ciclo, y tercer ciclo. Or bachillerato, right? So pretty much that is the idea. So which was, or university, for the ones who went to university? Which was better for you? Alguno que fue mejor? Uh -huh. Which was better for you? For me, maybe high school, I think. What high about school. you guys? I like high school. High school better? Yes, I think high school. University was good as well. Univers or university. University for you? Okay. Yes. Yes. In my case, I prefer the the college when I started in the bachillerato. Ah, so high school. Yeah. So high school. Yeah, because in high school we were like 14, 15, 17 years old. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Todavía no éramos adultos. <laughs> we were not adults <laughs> yet. Uh -huh. So for me, high school I, too. And have responsibilities. Yeah, exactly. There were not too many responsibilities. <laughs> Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you prefer? Anita, what was better for you? Um, repeat, teacher. Yeah, question six. What was better for you? Elementary? Elementary is como toda la preparatoria, primero, segundo, tercero, you know. Then junior high school. Uh, so we are talking about todo el segundo ciclo, tercer ciclo. And then high school, bachillerato or university, right? College. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, was better junior highs. Junior. Very excellent for me. So junior high school, like tercer ciclo. The, the best days of my uh -huh. life. <laughs> junior high school. Yes, oh, teacher, tercer ciclo. In, interesting. Ya nos va a contar por qué. <laughs> no, teacher. Secret, so secret, secret. secret. <laughs> Anita. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything is recorded. <laughs> yes, yes. Just kidding. <laughs> only <Nelson>. remember. <laughs> okay, only memories. Yes. Nelson, what about yeah. you? Yes, Ignacio? Yeah. So, uh, for me, it was a long time ago. I'm sorry, uh, 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 you broke a little bit. So tell me, please. For me, it was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, for me too. I mean, it was, yeah. I mean, it was a long time ago. <laughs> but, yeah. but you have memories, I guess. So you still yes. remember your school days, right? Yeah, my, my, my best, my best, um, my best, sorry, my best, Memory. Memory, uh-huh. He's in the high school. In high school? High school. Why? Why do you remember high school a lot? Uh, for example, the, the, my, 
my first girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was in high school. All right. Moses, oh, what was the best time for you? What was, which was better? Elementary, junior, high, high school, school, college? For me, it was high school teacher because Why high? Uh -huh. I remember uh, more things. Uh, mm -hmm. as, a as a child, I hardly remember things. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yes, in kindergarten, imagine, a long time ago. Okay, but what was your best memory from high school, guys? So I guess for most of us, probably that was high school. What was your best memory? Pedrina, Jocelyn, tell us, what was your best memory back in high school? What did you do? ¿Qué hacían, guys? Why do you remember it a lot? Um, for me, the best memory is the high school because... Uh, I were I was um, um, dancing uh -huh. uh, with the boyfriend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and um, I mm. went to to the the home the my the classmates. Ah, okay. To do homework, uh, to play. Aha, uh -huh, yes. The the all all plays, um, in because antes before antes before, before. Uh -huh. is uh, is a little bit uh, danger. Mm -hmm. The place. Mm -hmm. uh, peligrosa, yes, Don't yes. You? So you mean like before it was or it was? It, it was a little, a little bit danger. Uh -huh. Okay. O sea, eran menos peligrosos, oh, less, less, less dangerous. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. That's a very good point. So before it was less dangerous, so you could go to parks, to play, al rio, <laughs> to the river, yeah. right? Okay, that, that's right, that's right. Um, uh, for, so, example, yeah. for example, I remember there were a, a, a go, no, I, wanna, I went, the, mm -hmm. the place, the Imposible. To the park? Yes, the impossible. With your friends? With the classmates. Um, during uh, during classes? <laughs> during class yeah. time? Yes. Eh, eh, fue awesome. como una actividad, teacher. Ah, as, ok, as part of classes. No es que se escapara de las clases. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not okay, teacher, no. so there is an expression. No, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, okay, this is a skip classes, all right? Escaparse de las clases. Guys, did yeah, you skip, skip classes? Yes. Did anybody skip classes? Yes. Okay, the Richard. What, miss it. <laughs> every day. What the, every day? Yes. <laughs> Today. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do when you skipped ¿Cómo classes? <laughs> ah, también estudi, también, eh, okay. because, because so, estudi. You es, skipped skip, classes, skip, but you skip, studied. Skip, eh, also estudi. Studied, okay. Yes, study, okay. yes, yes. Vago pero irresponsable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what about the Siempre. rest, guys? Richard skipped classes. What about the rest of you? Who else skipped classes? <laughs> ¿Quién se saltaba de las clases? Who skipped it? Hi, Alex. No tengan pena, díganlo. Carlos. Hi. Did, did you skip classes? <laughs> yes. Yo. Hi. Yes, yes. Okay, how often, Eduardo Nelson, how often every, did you skip classes? Every weekend, every weekend and Wednesday. Every Wednesday? Yes. Where did you go on Wednesdays? Because the Wednesday is the offer to go to the pool. To the pool. 
<laughs> did you go to the pool on Wednesday? How yes. many hours did you skip? Uh, all after four hours. Four hours to go to the pool. Yes. Wow. But when you say the pool, estamos hablando de pool, right? Not the yes. swimming pool. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Pool. So the the pool okay yes. okay okay four hours every wednesday really so carlos oh my god <laughs> okay y nunca le dijeron nada so you were never punished <laughs> I, 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 I always i always presented my my homework yeah but you skipped classes <laughs> yeah. okay crazy that's definitely crazy anybody else Someone who wants to tell us his or her experience. Girls, and what about girls? Clary, did you skip classes, guys? Nelson, Sarai, Sarai, cuéntenos, ya que tenemos audio. <laughs> Guadalupe, tell us. I skip uh, only once time. Only one time. What did you do yes. during that time? I went to the, the Parque Infantil. <laughs> <laughs> With your friends? Yes. Oh, oh. okay. Did, did you get punished? La castigaron? Did you get punished? Because no. I was skipping? No. Oh, okay. You know what? I never skipped classes because my mother had the, had the school cafeteria right mm -hmm. there was a cafeteria in the school my mother had the cafeteria so como me va a <laughs> i couldn't escape at all no you know? no pudo, no pudo. sorry for <laughs> never sorry teacher sorry never sometimes my friends it jumped right so my friends jumped the fence se saltaban la cómo se llama eso lo que divide el muro el muro ajá yeah so sometimes my friends jumped the fence and we were like, hey, let's go. And they went to a river because there was a river like 15 minutes away. So, but I mean, they were like good people. Just they, they went to the river to swim. And I was like, I cannot go. <laughs> My mother will kill me. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't do it. That was so sad. Fair, I have a fair question. Mother. Tell me. <laughs> no, no, it's good. I'm okay with that. Yes, Jocelyn, ask me. Ask me. Okay, guys. Guys, what, what was the crazy thing they did? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> In the high school. Oh my God, it is recorded. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, when we were studying high school, we had this project to make a milpa, to make a corn plantation, right? So the, the school was big and there were, we, um, we grew, you know, so we grew the corn. Nosotros la plantamos. We grew it uh, as the group. Um, in the school, there were a lot of mango trees. There were, um, I don't remember the name of the other plant that has like a black uh, fruit. Um, it, it's, it doesn't have a good flavor. It's black outside and it's white inside, but I don't remember the name. Okay, well, the thing is that- Ciruelas, no. No, 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 se parece. It's similar to ciruela, to plum. Pero es mucho más pequeña, and it's uh, sour. Es como acidita. I don't remember. Well, the point is this. It was a Friday, and we had PE. We had physical education. So we were playing outside, and suddenly one of our classmates got a mango and threw the mango <laughs> to another person. And so um, the, the, all the, the arm, all the sleeve, you know, got with mango, right? So we were sitting down and suddenly all my friends started, they started picking up mangoes and they were throwing mangoes at each other. I was in the middle of it. <laughs> and I was throwing mangoes as well. Uh, corn, fueron a agarrar las, las mazorcas. <laughs> So they started throwing corn, uh, mangoes, and the other fruitita that I don't remember the meaning. 
I don't remember how to say that in English, uh, ni en español. <laughs> like, aceituna, do you know? Uh, no, it's aceituna. Or, no, pero es I don't know, it's black. Yeah, something oh. like that. So the thing is that when I got home, all my blouse was orange. <laughs> it was yeah. dirty. The school was dirty. So um, we had to, we were punished. So nos castigaron. We were punished y tuvimos que pintar y lavar. <laughs> we had to paint and clean the, the, the walls of the school. But that was, I think, the craziest thing. I am pretty sure that you have more stories to tell. So guys, let's do the following. Ese tema está bien interesante. This is very interesting. <laughs> and I want to listen to your stories and to what you have to tell us. So take a look at the questions. Sí, Revisan sí. las preguntitas que tenemos. Um, and para que logremos todos participar y, y pues nos cuenten, guys, cuál fue la mejor historia that you had back in high school. Prepárenla, you know, get it ready. Recuerden, se un poquito de memoria about your school days y nos la cuentan mañana para que así ya tengan el vocabulario that you need and uh, it can be more smooth y puede ser un poco más fácil de contar. So, pueden seleccionar uno de estos. You can select one of these. No les voy a pedir todos. Only one is perfect. Piensen en la mejor historia that you can tell us, right? And that would be great. Y la compartimos mañana. So we share that tomorrow. Dígame, Ignacio. Pienso que me iba a decir algo. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Uh, I remember uh, uh, when I put uh, a box uh, on a classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, because he put the his finger. Uh, mm -hmm. I am uh, of the classmate. Um, it's sería es capaz de skip, verdad? Skip, skip of classes. Um, as more mm -hmm. I am spelled. Spell. Yes. Lo, lo, uh, lo expulsaron, he was expelled. Eh, yes. Oh. Bueno, no, no, qué bárbaro, qué bárbaro. No tanto, no tanto así, pero. Wait, ya estoy a, a usted lo expulsaron, you were expelled. Yes. Eh, no, o sea, solo fue el, 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 el por decirlo así, es, eh, la amenaza, oh. pero no, no lo oh. hicieron. <risa> Yeah. Ok, eso nos cuenta mañana que fue exactamente lo que pasó. Okay. Igual, Anita, Anita nos va a contar una historia de por qué es que recuerda high school, you know. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> so, I really want to listen to those stories, guys. Uh, chicos, antes de irnos, solo paso asistencia a quienes me hacían falta. I'm missing Brian, regáleme confirmación, Brian, please. Mm. Creo que Brian, escucha Brian. Teacher. Ok, thank you so much. Eh, I'm missing Ignacio, regáleme confirmation, please. Present, teacher. Gracias. I'm missing Alex. I'm here, please. I'm present, teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Marvin López, su tocayo. Lo vi por acá y lo escuché. Probably he's out. And uh, solo me falta Brendita. All right. Okay, everybody, so um, okay. we have this little homework. Pensemos en la historia que nos quieran contar. You know, the best story that you can remember. Yeah. La compartimos el día de mañana. So that would be really, really nice. Please okay. don't miss it. Eh, chicos, una semana más. Exactamente cinco días nos quedan. Y terminamos módulo. Please yeah. don't miss it. Um, voy a estar revisando en 10 minutitos la plataforma. Porfa, ayúdenme si todavía yeah, les hacen absolutely. falta ejercicios. Si ya lo terminaron, pues perfecto, you know. Yeah. Se pueden avanzar y terminar la siguiente. Mucho mejor y así ya se quedan tranquilos. Que disfruten Cheer. su noche. Have a good one. Eh, dígame, Anita. Hasta la 15, era. ¿eh? No. Es yes. hasta la 15, correcto. Pero si no, hasta la 20. Mira. <risa> no me enojo que termine antes. That's amazing. Eh, Mose, regálame un par de minutitos, porfa. Los demás que descansen, guys. Que disfruten su noche y la lluvia. 
Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Deme un momentito solamente. Deme solo un momento, eh, Moses. Give me just a minute here. Okay. ¿Qué tal, Moses? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Thank you, sir. Okay, great, great, great. So um, we have like 10 minutes, but I think that we can take advantage. Creo que los podemos utilizar al máximo en, y practicar, right? So we can practice part of the activities that we have for tomorrow. Moses, just I have general comments. Uh, the first one, uh, congratulations. Uh, estamos avanzando mucho con speaking. I like your vocabulary. I was listening to you today and I like um, that you have new vocabulary to use. So very nice, very nice. Y, y yo siento que, y eso le iba a decir, yo siento que no, no paso de, del mismo, que, que le diré, como del mismo paso, no sé, del mismo nivel. Siento que ahí me he estancado, pero si usted dice que yo voy mejorando. Porque... Well, actually, lo que sucede es lo siguiente. Probably you feel uh, you are stuck. But for example, ahora le escuché vocabulario diferente. I heard you different vocabulary. And the second thing es que lo escuché mucho más fluido. At the moment you were telling me the story, no se me quedó pensando mucho tiempo. So you were not thinking about it, sino que lo dijo más rápido. Um, no, 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 uno no lo... Usted probablemente no lo percibe. Como so ya... that, Lo tengo en mi cabeza, solo lo, lo, lo suelto, ¿verdad? Exactly. So remember que hay varias cosas... Eh, Es como un proceso, right? Primero, grammar. Eh, segundo, uh, vocabulary. Eh, tercero, entonación, pronunciación. Y luego tenemos fluidez. So, ahora, al momento que lo escuché, yo sí le escuché fluidez. So, I heard you fluency. Um, al menos, yo sí me percaté que no se quedó pensándolo mucho tiempo, sino que fue más rápido eh, the way you, you said it. So, probablemente so, sea eso. Usted siente que está como ahí estancado pero porque su fluidez está mejorando. Yo, I mean, that's why. Um, yo sí siento, yo le escuché nuevo vocabulary. <laughs> Solamente es quizás que, que, you know, siempre vamos a ir agregando vocabulario, right? So that's fine. Si gusta, practiquemos un poquito. Veamos eh, cómo estamos con el resto de, de situations para escucharlo por más tiempo, right? Y pues poder saber how we are doing there. Deme un momento. Logra ver mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Sí, ahora, ahora sí, teacher. Ah, bye. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, great. So let let's speak. Okay, because I want to uh, I want to listen to you speaking for a longer period of time and not only one minute. Uh, for example, we were discussing a little bit about this um experiences so what was better for you if elementary school junior high school high school etc um so from high school which was your best memory what 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 are some of the things that you remember you did in high school teacher yes or, or junior high school or, or elementary so any of them did you, for example, did you ever participate in cultural events? Did you dance or what did you do? What do you remember from school? I was in the soccer school in, in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, the, the good player. I are the, the good player uh, because uh, estaba, como le digo, yo estaba en la escuela de, de, de fútbol. I was. I was in mm -hmm. the uh, school soccer. Mm -hmm. In soccer, the, the school. Uh -huh. Soccer school. Uh -huh. uh, is the my best uh, remember and special. Okay. So um, so you were in the soccer school? 
when you were in what? Elementary, junior, or high school? High school. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so okay. tell me about like a like a normal day when you were in high school. It is normal, eh, como cualquier otro estudiante. Right? It's normal. At every day, I go eh, wrong at the school. Eh, I a student promedy eh, because I the best player soccer. Okay, but but you have classes, right? So do you have classes in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Okay, in high school. Uh, exactly. And turn vespertino, le llamamos. So you have, uh -huh, okay. You have classes only in the afternoon. Uh, exactly, only afternoon. Oh, that's a strange, okay. And in so. In uh, Santa Tecla. Oh, I mean, yeah, because for example, I have classes from 7 to 4 p.m. <laughs> I have classes almost all day long. Wow. Okay, what about uh, what about your soccer classes? When did you go to, to the soccer school? Uh, every day, uh, for example, 2 p.m. Uh, or 3 p.m. In one hour, one hour. Uh, so that every was every day. Yes, uh, is uh, the practice uh, soccer, no? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. What about so? Let's jump and let's go to another one. Oh, take a look at number five. What were some of your favorite toys? From what you're telling me, I understand that you loved soccer. What about um, coming back to a younger age? Did you have a favorite toy when you were younger than that? Uh, five question, teacher. What yes, yes. Number toy? five. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite toy is, for example, the the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, I I I have a car a control remote. Ah, okay. Uh, era como mi, my favorite toy. Okay. What happened to the toy? Did you destroy it? I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> Creo que hay hay destroyer, hay un destroyer. Eh, no recuerdo qué qué pasó con él, verdad? Okay, okay, that's all right. No, yeah, because with my toys, I um I destroyed all my dolls and toys. I opened them <laughs> with a screwdriver. <laughs> I hardly uh, toys. I hardly had toys. Casi no tuve. Okay. Yeah, I have only like one one. I I have I have like three brothers, no four. Wait, no, I have three brothers. So normally I played with my brothers. I played soccer. I played outside. I didn't have like many toys, so I totally relate to that. Okay. Um, what about this one? What what games did you play when you were a child? What was your favorite game? Uh, Mika. <laughs> a tag. Uh, o sea, juego así como street game. Uh-huh. Tag. Yeah. With the friends in the in the in the barrio, in the colonia, in the, in the street, in, in the, the neighborhood. Street. Exactly, the neighborhood, the vecina. Okay. Eh, the mica, soccer in the el pasaje, how do you say pasaje? In the alley. Alley on the street. Yeah. Alley, uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. So, but did you because there are different type of games, there are different type of tag games. Había diferentes tipos de mica. Do you remember the one you play the most? We play uh, mica fruit. Oh, you said the name of a fruit and you stop running. I remember we play uh, uh, cantaburro. Se llamaba. What was that? Ajá. Uh -huh. What era, was that? Uh, era una mica, pero with the balloon. Ajá. Uh -huh. Explain Gloria. that to me. Explain that to me, please. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo sería? La, como la, ¿Lanzar? Throw. Throw the ball. Uh, other uh -huh. uh, other uh, player. Person. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, with the... Pegarle con la pelota al otro chico. Oh, you had to hit. Exactly. So you hit. You hit the person with the ball and the other person got the tag. Exactly. Ya tenía la mica. Exactly. Penitation. Oh, what was the name? Burro, you said. <laughs> Cantaburro. <laughs> Cantaburro. Yeah, 
we take al taburro. Oh, that is new for me. <laughs> okay, nunca lo había escuchado. Okay. I have never heard sí, about it. A la mayoría que le digo no sabe, no sé si era inventado por nosotros. Mm, I mean, he escuchado like mica pelota, mica fruta, mica, I mean, congelados, whatever, but canta burro, el nombre, it's, yo lo conozco como, como mica pelota. <laughs> uh -huh, so probably the name is just different. All right. So, well, Moses, I think that you are doing a good job. So, so far, sí se defiende súper bien. Um, quizás solamente algunas veces que, que lo piensen en español, so you're thinking about Spanish, eh, y me lo va traduciendo algunas palabritas, right? <laughs> so the only thing I recommend you is, um, piénsalo, dígalo, pero ya no lo repite en español, so don't repeat it in Spanish, right? <laughs> si ya lo dijo, pues ya lo dijo, and that would be it. So, eh, quizás sería lo único. Ajá, no, no, no lo vaya traduciendo, so. Como que por si ejemplo, no supiera, ¿verdad? Lo que le dijo. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Lo que pasa es que yo creo que es como para que usted, usted uno lo hace como para autoconvencerse que lo dijo bien. Exacto. Para, como para confirmar. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Sí, lo que yeah, pasa but... es que practicamos con los otros compañeros es lo típico. ¿verdad? O sea, yo les digo algo o me dicen algo y como, ah, esto dije. Para ah, ok. Ahorita... Entonces, yo creería que es, ajá, eso. Normal, no, pero eso sucede, you know. Um, es bastante común que uno lo diga cuando uno quiere confirmarse. Eh, a mí me pasaba, you know, that happened to me a lot, que era como, si lo dije bien, va. <ríe> so yo me lo preguntaba porque no estaba segura. Um, con el tiempo, eso se va a ir quitando, right? Porque usted ya va a estar un poco más seguro what you're saying. But so far, I think you're doing a very nice job. Eh, solamente sería la de mañana. Escoja una de ellas, choose one. E intente dar más detalles. Try to include more details. Por ejemplo, puede ser este juego del cantaburro que me acaba de escribir y solamente explique como detalle a detalle cómo se jugaba. Puede ser algo bien sencillo, pero también para que usted vaya practicando a little more y, y el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Que sea más, más fácil. Yo. Ahorita creería que eso es la, su única... Que, eh, el único challenge que le voy a dejar... Eh, si ya lo dijo en inglés, no lo repite en español. So don't, don't say it in Spanish. That's the only thing que vamos a empezar a trabajar ahorita. All right. Oh my God. Moses, ya no le quito más tiempo. <laughs> Sorry. Me emocioné acá. And, and, no, but that was great. Gracias por su tiempo. Y pues ya lo escuché hablar mucho más tiempo. So that's nice. Very, very good. Lo está haciendo súper bien. Solamente sigamos that way. All right. Nos vemos mañana. I'll see you tomorrow.